Hi everybody, this is Yemi Wu when we are in Franchise Kingdom. Today we're gonna talk about Kodalka. Kodalka, this is a game for PS1 which starred the Shadow Hearts franchise, which is a really funny story. If you never played this game, it's basically a really dark RPG with um, tactical RPG um, and has a female, a filme, female main character which is called Elka if you're wondering what it's about the name of the game it's the name of the main character and she goes to a monastery and together with other two player characters one of them a priest and um, I really forgot wh what journey is about but you, you just have these three characters and it has a really dark story when you have to solve some mysteries and if you are familiar with the Shadow Hearts franchise you gonna see some familiar faces or at least some familiar names. For example, Roger Bacon, which if you play Shadowheart is a pretty well known character and his first appearance is right here. Kodelka has more than one ending. One of them is basically a, a game over screen which you, if you had not find a specific item at the time of the final boss he gonna just kill you instantly give you a, a different game over screen um, also you can have two more endings which one of them you basically kill the last boss and Without giving too much spoiler why this is a bad thing, it is a bad thing. Um, everyone in your party is alive, but it is a bad thing. So even if this is the better ending, uh, if you could think this is, it is, I don't think. And it's a really sad ending. That's what I can say without giving you spoilers. The other ending is basically you have one of the one of your characters sacrifice for killing the final boss. Not exactly killing, but like purify the boss. That's why killing is not really a good thing. And uh, Kodelka and the other character just survive take a night together also I have to say this not only it's a way more mature game because it's way dark but it's also really mature in a, a couple of scenes you can see like it has a scene when Kodelka just drinking with uh, the other player character and it's really emotional almost no no it is emotional like how she talk about her past and everything and it's not a, a thing that you usually see in video games even the more mature ones so uh, I have just to congratulations that um, also if you're wondering Kodelka never planned a sequel yes it was planned I think four sequels, one would be in Japan, one would be in French, one would be I think in America and another, I forgot where it was. I think two of them gonna be with Kodelka and the other two gonna be with her grandson. So yeah. Also Kodelka has a manga, if you is interesting on that, go look it. Um, it's not canon anymore, if you um, like about that. It was canon when it was uh, created, so you could like it. Um, but after the Shadow Games, Shadow Hurt Games, 
it was uncanonized. But it's still, it is a, a good story. I, if you're looking for more Kodelka, just go look the manga adaptation, which is take place after the Kodelka games. But be aware that um, Shadow Games uncanonized the story of the manga. You can see a lot more about um, other characters in the Shadow Hearts franchise. That is a, a franchise that I really like. Uh, was of course begin with as a spin-off, but it's basically now a sequel. It's hard to classify. Um, and uh, we're gonna talk more about Shadow Hearts. Let me know what you think about this game. Um, I personally think that the graphics in game are not good enough, even for the time. But the graphics of the CG are really good. Uh, I think uh, I'm really impressed for for that. Um, for the time, it's way impressive. Uh, I'm w was sometimes think that I was watching a PS2 game. So, let me know if you played this game before, if you like when you play, if you never heard about this game, but now want to try. And in the next week, if, never, if nothing goes wrong again, uh, we're going to talk about Shadow Hearts 1. Bye! Huh? Is that how you explain what we just saw? Memories. Somebody told me that after a loved one's death, all we have is memories. In these, we maintain an eternal bond.